Hello everybody, thanks for watching this 2023 World Plum Day video. I'm Victor Fernandez de Alba and I'm going to talk to you about the membership committee of the Plum Foundation. So first of all, what is the Plum Foundation? Uh, the, behind Plum the project, there is a US-based 501c3 non-profit organization. It was established in 2004 and it's the official voice of Plum and its community. Having a foundation backing an open source project is a differential factor over any average open source project. The foundation mission is to protect the project, providing that it's not tied or relies in any individual or a company, but to the organization. It owns the code, tri trademarks and domains, providing decision-making structure for essential community activities and holds it up together to ensure the preservation of the project. The foundation is the entity that administers and do the donations and how the money is spent. It's also the duty of the foundation to put that money at work to fund sprints, events, services, etc. These keep Plown alive and help promote and protect Plown and its continuous work growth, uh, development, progress over the years. One fact that is often underrated is that the Plum Foundation is one of the eldest active open source foundations in the world, close after the Apache Foundation. So the, the foundation protects Plum the software, but since some time ago, it also protects some other projects that the Plum community started along the way. At some point, it, this vibrant, friendly and talented community started to have other necessities and concerns and started side projects that complemented and improved Plone over the years. This is the case of Guillotina and Volto, but also about other broader communities like the Zoe community are now under the Plum Foundation umbrella. So what means to be a Plum Foundation member? The most important asset of, a of the foundation are the people, its members. The foundation represent them. The membership is formed by individuals who are selected based on their participation and contribution to the community. Being granted the membership of the Plum Foundation is a public community acknowledgement that certifies your community achievements. A member has voice and vote on all public foundation decisions and matters, and they annually elect also the current board of directors of the Plum Foundation and decide on the location of the next Plum Conference. The Plum Foundation currently has over 100 active members from 35 uh, countries. So what do, you ha what do I have to do to become a member of the Plum Foundation, you may ask? So there's a full member application process that I'm going to explain right now. So basically, the concept is that the Plum Foundation looks for members that have a mid significant and enduring contributions that benefit the general Plum community. Although this is the motto, this is the, define, the definition of what uh, the Plum Foundation is seeking in, in its um, foundation members. Uh, don't worry, there are many ways for you to contribute to the Plum Foundation. Uh, these are some examples. Uh, we are searching for all types of, of profiles, not only colors. So, so you could have uh, organized, participated or attended Plum community events, local or global, uh, even remotely nowadays. Also contribute with code, documentation, design of Plum Foundation software. Uh, then created open source code to extend our software or created content to promote Plown. For example, blogs, videos, talks, seminars, trainings. Uh, maybe you participated in some uh, Plown teams, uh, committees, or to the board itself, or helped other community members on our Discord forums or Stack Overflow. So there are many, many, many ways to contribute to the project. And all these contributions can lead to a thing that you can nominate yourself. Uh, to be a member of the Plum Foundation. Uh, where do you do that? So you can nominate yourself via Plum.org. You, here is the URL, is HTTP, Plum.org, Foundation Members Application Procedure. Uh, go authenticate using uh, your GitHub account on Plum.org, create a membership application, add as many details uh, about you as you can, 
And uh, what one thing that you need is you name you have to name a Plum Foundation member, an already member of the Plum Foundation that must second your application. But you can find us uh, every, uh, in Discord, in the forums, in the channel. So so you don't. I'm sure that you won't have problem to do that. Then after filling the application, just submit it and then wait for the resolution. So what happens on the membership evaluation? There is a membership committee that is responsible for reviewing the membership applications. So from seven to 11 members are selected uh, more or less each, each year. And uh, the uh, committee for this uh, current year are uh, I, my, myself, Tikim uh, uh, and Guillen. Then we have Ander Lieb, Asko Soka, Leonardo Caballero, Kim Polisen, Peter Holzer, and Willem Fenny. So these people will review your application. And after reviewing it, you will decide by, based on the merit of the applicant and uh, every committee member will vote on the application. Once the decision is made, the membership committee submits their recommendation to the Plum Foundation Board. After that, uh, every application submitted by the committee is discussed in the vote in the board and is voted by the uh, Plum Board Foundation members. If the application is uh, approved finally by the board, then the secretary will send and contact uh, or, or send a mail, contact the, applic the applicant to inform that uh, his status, uh, his new status of membership uh, uh, of the Plum Foundation, and he and and then uh, yeah, the the process will will finish. The board uses the meeting minutes as the formal announcement of the new members. So uh, after the decision is made then the board uh, communicates this to the community through uh, the, its minutes. So what I can say is apply now. Don't, don't be scared of the process. Don't be scared of uh, nominating yourself. Uh, if you made a good enough or, or a worthy contribution, and I'm sure you, you, you're doing that, just nominate yourself, uh, fill out the application, the member of the Plunk uh, Foundation. Uh, I'd say it's one of the best things that happened uh, to me. Uh, yeah, and, and uh, you won't regret it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this is again the URL. And uh, yeah, see you in the interwebs.